Let's practice uh, incorporating slow motion in Premiere Pro CS6. So here if I play this video that I found that I imported into this new project, you see this person here is kicking at a reasonable speed here. But say you want to add slow motion. So here during this roundhouse kick, we're going to make this go slow motion. So here. So starting from here, we're going to add slow motion. Now, one thing that we can do to a video clip is to right click, change the actual speed duration this way. However, to actually gradually slow things down, it's going to be quite tedious. If you have an old version of Premiere Pro, you'd have to slice up the video into pieces using the razor tool and manually right click and change the speed duration. However, with the newer versions of uh, Premiere Pro, what we can do is uh, gradually decrease the speed using the concept of time remapping. So here is the opacity uh, within the video clip here. If you don't see that, you might want to hit the little drop down arrow box here, collapse, expand track. So we, we open it up. You change the button opacity to time remapping. Time remap remapping speed. So instead of having the default yellow line here representing opacity, the default line here is time remapping. So if you look up here in the effect controls, these are video effect, these are all standard. Standard video effect of motion, opacity, and we have time remapping. So if you hit the drop down box for time remapping, at this current CTI indicator, what I'm going to do is, so as, as I'm kicking here, is I'm going to hit the little add remove keyframe button and there we have our time remapping little draggy bar. And so right now we're at 100% speed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, we have two parts, we have a left part and a right part. On the right part I'm going to hover over that yellow line until I see the two arrows going up and down. Click on it and if I drag down I want to reduce it down to half speed which is 50%. 5 zero. This is like slow motion. And as soon as I did that, I noticed that uh, my video actually went to longer. So if you press control my if you press uh, minus, it gets shorter. You can zoom out. If you press plus, it zooms in. Somehow we notice that it's longer just because when you make something slow motion, it takes longer and so it takes more time. So let's uh, press let's drag the CTI to the left. Press spacebar to run it. There's a regular speed kick and then boom right away we're at half speed good for dramatic effects now what if uh, we don't want to we don't want to just immediately slow down but we want to slow down gradually so let me make this more extreme instead of when I drag down to 50% I'm gonna drag down to just say 10% uh, this is extremely slow so when I press space we're fast to really slow, like a snail's pace. So this would actually look good if you have a very good camera that can shoot at many frames per second. Perfect for slow motion shots. But anyway, this is not really acceptable. I want to slow down and make that gradual. I'm not ready for such a drastic transition. So what we'll do here is we'll click on this uh, little uh, uh, timer mapping uh, button type thingy here. I'm going to click on it and drag it out. So what's happening here is we're gradually ramping down. Uh, over a period of time we're going to uh, slow, down, slow down. So here we're at regular speed. Notice how everything is moving at a reasonable regular speed and then gradually we're still normal but then we, we see that we're gradually slowing down to a snail's pace. And if you look at the little um, effects controls uh, panel here you see that there's a little ramp it's a diagonal ramp and that the, the slope of the diagonal uh, ramp depends on uh, depends on how uh, wide apart these two uh, uh, buttons are so hopefully you have an idea of how to apply slow motion to your videos and add some dramatic effects